On the right is Princes Street. And if you look on the right again, is St George's Church. Like the other St George's Church in Norwich, it was rebuilt in Georgian times, but this time with a brick nave, not a stone one. It's a very beautiful church inside. John Crone, the artist, worshipped in that church. Don't ask me why the clock isn't working. Everyone asked me that question. On the right is St Peter Hungate Church, which has stood empty for the last 10 or 15 years, but in the last few weeks it has been used by an art college. On the left, in another church, is an organ built by a well-famous Hollywood organ builder. Every first Thursday in every month, they have an organ recital in there at lunchtime. And on the right is Elm Hill, Norwich's version of the Shambles. There was a fire here in 1507, burnt this street right to the ground, but the Britain's Arms, the thatch building on the right, escaped the blaze. It wasn't a pub then, it was what they called a beguine, which was a religious women's sanctuary. On the left is the Blackfriars Hall, and immediately after that, down the stairs on the left, is a medieval crypt. If you look on the menu board, you'll probably see a drawing of what it looks like. And as we swing round to the right, you will see our beautiful Tudor Street. There's a great resemblance between this and the Shambles, which is in York. They're both very similar, except the Shambles is a lot narrower. Both got similar sorts of shops, specialised. There's one big difference between the Shambles and Elm Hill. That's just, there's nobody in Elm Hill, whereas the Shambles you would be heaving shoulder to shoulder with people. In the 1920s, Norwich City Council were going to pull this street down, but they reckoned without the Norwich Society, who mounted a campaign and eventually it came to a vote and it was carried by one vote, the Mayor's casting vote, to restore this street. So we're very, very lucky that the Norwich Society mounted a campaign to save this street. On the right-hand side is a former church. If you look at the tower, half of it is missing. It fell down in 1910, so they thought they'd better restore the rest of the church, which had stood empty for a hundred years, before that fell down. But if you look at the way they carried out the work, it could only be described as a bodge. We're now on to Five Bridge Street and heading out of Norwich. There used to be a ducking stool on this bridge on the right and the pub on the left the Mischief Tavern dates back to 1600. 